Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Jane Brewer and I am an Education Specialist with United Against Human Trafficking. Today I am going to be talking about the status of human trafficking here in Houston. Now Houston has long been considered a hub for human trafficking and there are a few different reasons for this. We are close to the border with Mexico. We have a lot of transportation that comes through Houston. Airports, seaports, roadways, Interstate 10 is a highway that travels from California to Texas and was identified by the Department of Justice as the most frequently used road by human traffickers. We also have a diverse labor sector with agriculture, oil and gas, fishing, construction, and a lot of other industries that need to fill a lot of roles. We have a sprawling community geographically we have a metropolitan city, suburban areas, and rural areas that stretch out for miles. And we've seen human trafficking here in the bustling city, as well as way out in rural communities. We also have a wonderful, vibrant immigrant population. People come from all over the world to Houston to start a new life. However, that does allow traffickers to bring foreign nationals from other countries and hide their victims in plain sight. However, have you ever heard of Houston as a solution city? So Houston is fighting human trafficking in a lot of really wonderful ways. We have a few different agencies that are all working together to build out one of the most expansive anti-trafficking networks in the country. The first of which is HATRA. HATRA, or the Human Trafficking Rescue Alliance, is an organization made up of local, state, and federal agencies that are fighting human trafficking at the level of investigations and prosecuting traffickers. We also have a special advisor to the mayor, and this role was created for the first time here in Houston. And our special advisor to the mayor on human trafficking, Nino Patel Davis, has a really built out plan that includes initiatives like raising awareness, engaging different departments, and streamlining services. She really utilizes the resources and connections at the city level to fortify the city's response to human trafficking. You can see her strategic plan and the status of her plan at humantraffickinghouston.org. We have even invited other mayors and cities to Houston to learn more about our anti-trafficking plan so that they can adopt it in their own cities. We also have the Houston Rescue and Restore Coalition, a coalition led by my organization, United Against Human Trafficking, and it is made up of about 70 plus social services organizations here in Houston that do a lot of different work to fight human trafficking from prevention, education, helping people exit a trafficking situation, or providing services to survivors of human trafficking. And we all come together to discuss challenges, learn best practices, and share resources with each other. So it's up to you. Do you think Houston is a problem city or a solution city?